Brilliant week of tennis matched only by the attendance figures came to a close in Mason this afternoon with the championship matches at the Western and Southern Open. What, way to, what a great way to send these players off to New York City for the season's final Grand Slam event, the U.S. Open. Roger Federer taking on Ferrer in the men's final first set. Federer serving far court. Great play at the net from Roger using the entire court. He won the first set 6-3 as Ferrer hits it wide. Ferrer stormed back in the second, though. In the second, serving near court. Comes up with the backhand rip just inside the line. He forced a third set. In that third, Federer. Running Ferrer from left to right at the baseline. Finally rips the backhand winner. Roger Federer needed three sets, but he takes the title in Mason and heads to the U.S. Open next. Not to go crazy here, you know, like uh, we don't need to take chances here. Uh, uh, I need to be smart about how, how much I play, when I play, and how did I feel. So I waited for Monday, Tuesday to see how I felt. And um, in practice, I felt actually like was, you know, it was recovering quickly. And... Um, Give it a go, you know, play with less pressure, just more with the confidence and you never know how you end up uh, feeling midway through the week. And I think for David it was quite similar. I think also he was quite tired after a tough beginning to the tournament. And next thing you know, it's like we both end up in the finals, you know, just with pure confidence and playing good tennis. And Serena Williams on Ivanovic in the women's final. Ivanovic serving far court down 5-4 in the first. Comes up with the backhand winner. But later on in that set, Ivanovic will double fault the set away. Serena, 6-4, she takes the first. Then Serena up 4-1 in the second, goes on the attack with a serve. 117 miles per hour on the ace. Far court now, serving for the match. Williams, when Ivanovic hits it wide, claims the women's title. 6-4, 6-1, the women's top seed wins in Cincinnati. It truly feels good. I'm really excited. You know, I just, I'm really, I feel good. Like I, you know, I, I didn't expect to come here and win and, you know, or have such a good summer. I've just been trying to go with the flow and just be positive and it, it's working out. So I'm really excited about it. My first day of practice here, something just clicked and um, I was playing better and I was serving better. So um, I don't know. I think all the hard work and you know, was just paying off. Another week on the Sprint Cup Series and another without Tony Stewart. Stewart, as you know, was involved in a collision on a dirt track last week, which resulted in tempers flaring and a young driver losing his life when he got caught up underneath Stewart's car. Now, we're yet on when or even if Tony will return this season. As it stands, as they hit Michigan today, Tony wouldn't even be in the championship chase anyhow. Jeff Burton took his ride the number 14. Jimmy Johnson, trouble with the gear shift, using a vice grip to shift. That adds a little element of challenge to an already challenging event. Then there's that number 14 in trouble on pit road. Burton said he smelled something burning, then saw smoke, cost him a good spot on the track. Kyle Larson in trouble in the number 42 target car, hard into the wall, caught fire. Despite NASCAR's new rules about leaving cars, this is allowable because the fire is obviously a present danger. On the restart with 17 laps to go, Joey Logano in the lead. But on the inside, he can't hold off Jeff Gordon in the number 24. Gordon takes the checkered flag in Michigan, his 91st career win, third of 2014. He is the season's points leader. 